boy. It's um, 6 a.m. Uh, it's actually almost 6.45 now. But we're up early today because we're going to our design meeting. Uh, we're gonna take you along to show you the process of the design meeting as much as possible. Um, I'm not sure how much they're gonna let us record in there. And um, we'll just kind of show you the, the process we're going through. We've watched a few videos on people going through the design videos or design studio. And it's been kind of interesting to see the difference. So it's been not the same. So if you're thinking about getting a John Houston home, uh, this will reply or apply. This will apply directly to you. So good morning. All right, it is uh, 7.50 in the morning. That was close. We almost forgot the checkbook. Well, we didn't almost forget it. We just almost didn't know where it was. Right, we thought it was <laughs> in the car. It I swore I put it in the car. I swore. I swore. Because we had to take it with us last time. Well, we didn't have to, but we did. Yeah. And then I thought I put it in here. Yeah. So I'm like, we're gonna need it. Well, who only takes a Texas check anyway? <laughs> like, what sort of archaic system do you have <laughs> that you don't take credit cards or PayPal or any other form of payment besides a check? I don't know, honey. I don't know how it works, but. Funny though, it's interesting. It might have something to do with like chargebacks or like processing mm. fees. If you know, I don't know. I don't know. Put in the comments because I would love to know. Anyway, whatever we have it. So they're giving us a fifteen thousand dollar allowance to spend uh, on upgrades, mm -hmm. and anything over that, we need to have a checkbook. We gotta pay to pay the extra immediately. Yeah. So that's that's why you need to bring a checkbook to the John design Houston meeting, Design yeah. Center anyway. I don't know about other, other places, individuals, but, but there you go. That's so how our process works. 15 minutes or 10 minutes to get there and uh, starts at eight o'clock. We're gonna have an hour to just kind of browse around until the meeting starts. Oh boy, here we go. There you go. Let's go spend 15 grand. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have decided where to put all our outlets and this stuff isn't terribly expensive, but it's, um, it adds up. It adds up pretty quick. <laughs> so we're spending about $3,200 on just some of the things like these uh, outlets in the garage. There's a dedicated plug right here in the garage for the uh, refrigerator or freezer, because I want to put a freezer in the garage. Um, little things like the soffit. Uh, there's little soffit plugs on both sides of the garage or the house. And then putting these up lights were only about $100 a piece. Uh, so that's pretty pretty minimal stuff. Other things we spent on is that it doesn't come with a pendant light in the kitchen, so we added a little plug there that's wired in. And um, yeah, well, thanks, honey. <laughs> All right, um, I guess we'll just start with carpet, right? So we're just gonna be browsing through, looking at some different uh, options. Uh, everything is grouped by, what did they say? Group number? Group, yeah, Groups? Group one, two, three, Group one, two, three, four. Everything is labeled. This is group two. So we'll just kind of go through and, oh yeah, I do like that. It's probably group five. Nine, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's of course the one I like. Of yeah. course. That's always how it's gonna be, honey. Yeah. So it looks like these are all gonna be like the higher end. There are these like six. Oh, okay. went down a lot. We have no idea how much the price differences between these two, but we'll maybe do some overlay on that. I'll get some information and put uh, put that all through. Group two. Is there any ones? I don't know. <laughs> Three. Three. Is this bathroom town I'm stuff? Really or is sure. this for the flooring? I don't know. Probably for flooring. Maybe, yeah. Uh... I thought you fireplace stuff right here. Ledger, ledger, alabaster quartz. It's probably gonna be like, this might be something we need to do after is getting the fireplace mm -hmm. um, all the way to the ceiling with this stuff, so. Let's look at some kitchen oh, options. Oh, wow. Crazy. It's very textury. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. They probably have like standard versus 
Those are just some upgraded hinges. Whoa. What? Oh, this is an example of the sink. It's a sample. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like, you don't put a sink in a drawer. A in a That'd drawer. be amazing, but. <laughs> oh, there's another huh. one. Another style. Okay. Looking. You know how you put that? It's those little tiny individual. No. Maybe it's like a sheet they put on. You know, like Maybe. a large. Very cool. It looks nice, but it's yes. probably like the highest Ten. end. Yeah. <laughs> we do like the upper cabinet, but then it's gonna be a lot of extra. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Soft clothes. Yeah, soft clothes. This is, I'm curious about how much this is going to be an extra upgrade. Yeah. We'll see. All right, so a few options that we are going to consider is, uh, so there's two different types of hood vents. One's a, it blows the air in. It doesn't, it just recirculates. And the other one is going to be like a, uh, vent to the outside and we're gonna get a price anyway and see how much it is for like venting the outside so I think it's very important we also went with a 36 inch versus a 30 inch cooktop it adds another little warming zone but it also increases the size of these uh, so you have larger drawers down here a 36 inch drawer uh, we also our model comes with um, pan stacker which is this uh, above the, the microwave or down here, you can have a pan stacker down here, uh, but then you also have to add a symmetry on this side, which is like a additional cost for this as well. Um, other things we're gonna be looking into is the, the uh, cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling, um, and the, this, this area where I have a double oven uh, is an upgrade, uh, and I think we're just gonna go with the standard um, single oven. Um, and they're all Wi-Fi, which is thought was really interesting. Is they're all they're all Wi-Fi. You can hook up to your phone, and you can preheat it um, all to your Wi-Fi. A little Wi-Fi symbol right there. Oh, my bad. Um, other things we're gonna look at is the sink. We want this uh, uh, farm-style sink added to it. The other options are um, a stainless steel undermounted like this, or there's a colored ones. Um, different colors and a different style sink. I don't know what that's made out of. We also decided to upgrade our fireplace to go this all the way to the ceiling. And then this is gonna be a mantle that uh, is stained this darker wood smoke. Um, it's gonna be a cedar. We chose cedar, right? Yeah, the cedar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be this mantle right here and um, this is going to be the, the mantle and then this is going to be the same fireplace but it's going to have a hearth right here and then that stone is going to go all the way to the ceiling without these extra <laughs> things all right we're talking all things sinks right now oh, this sink is That's a so granite big. composite and it comes in all these different colors we we're thinking about doing this one. This is about, we should say, seven hundred bucks for the sink. It's, I think it's okay. What about this? And this is the Sub Zero. It's a little deeper. Um, this one's right around nine hundred dollars. We were gonna go with this bad boy. We can wash puppies in any of these, right? That's true. <laughs> this one was right around two thousand dollars. So. Yeah, I'd be okay with this one as in a in a yeah. white. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's old. That. I mean. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go with some luxury vinyl plank. Glory. Glory has the extra wider planks on it. it has wide planks and short planks. I'm assuming. And then it's this probably is all be wide. In the... Don't you think? I imagine it's actually down in the bottom. Oh yeah. yeah. They're, they're, all they're all sixty. They're all the same. They're all oh. Yeah. Nice. So this is where I'm gonna go with the memoir. Memoir in the. Laundry room. Laundry room. Or utility room. Utility room, yep. Yeah. Uh, bedroom closet. Bedrooms are going to be this. Hand or closet. the, whatever, hand closet. This is going to be our cabinets in the... It's our uh, island. 
Kitchen Island. Kitchen Island? Mm -hmm. No, Kitchen Island. This, this is the cabinet. Oh, cabinet in the Kitchen Island. <laughs> <laughs> cabinet in the Kitchen Island. This is going to be our island uh, countertop. This is going to be the, the countertop in the, in the, back. the back of the kitchen. I can't even say the words right. <laughs> this is gonna be our backsplash, and we're gonna go with a super bright alpine something. White on white. White on white. Arctic, Arctic white. white. Yeah. Uh, these are for the bathrooms. We're gonna do all the bathrooms in this um, glacier. Super bright with little speckles in it. And this is gonna be the, the wall color. So against white, it'll look, have a little bit of a contrast. Super nice. These are the cabinets in the bathrooms. Guest bath Guest bathrooms. Half bath. Shaker maple. And I forget about this. I have no this idea what the these are. There you go. The two bathrooms. And then we're going with, going with a little ash. ash. <laughs> so for the master bed bathroom, we're going to go with a black tile on the floor. And this is going to be for the sides of the shower. And then some darker, darker grout for the, the floor. So, Dang. there you go. Rough. I know, it took a while. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the gutter color, the gutters. Is it gonna be this shiny, this uh, gutter? Is it gonna be what like shiny like that? That's pretty much how you'll see it. Okay. And this is the trim work for the eaves. And then this is the door color. It's going to be mahogany. Mm -hmm. It's called wood smoke. Wood smoke. And we okay. did the Avignon with Flemish glass. Perfect. Okay, we're recording in secret because we're not supposed to record here. I don't know. Anyway, Maybe it's not supposed to we're not supposed to record camera. anybody else. Yeah. So we finished our meeting. We're waiting for our uh, paperwork. We uh, wrote a check. Wrote a check for a little over. But there's just some stuff that we just really wanted to have in the house. We just didn't really want to compromise, like mm -hmm. this floor. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just do like a little, <laughs> so this is luxury vinyl plank. <laughs> Living room and the kitchen and oh, our always. bedroom. bedroom. Um, kitchen, it was right around 9,000, seven to 9,000 dollars really extra. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. First Finished of all, with the design studio walkthrough and choosing all of the things. We're exhausted. First of all, <laughs> first of all, we're exhausted. We're exhausted. <laughs> Mentally, I think it's just more mental than anything else. Yeah. Well, we did have to stand up the entire time. That's true. Which was, you know. Yeah. But, but there's I a mean, lot of like. There's a lot of let's walking around and let's go look at that. Let's and go let's see try this. this and, and yeah. they bring things to the table and they let you see everything and touch everything and feel everything and it's it's nice it's that's a big benefit to the john houston design yes uh because some places just you walk into a model and they'll have like group a mm -hmm. that you can choose from or group b so this is if you like to to pick every single piece of your home then this is john the, houston is for you <laughs> for sure yeah because you definitely can yeah um, overall, I think it was an amazing experience. It was. I was very impressed with the... She knew her stuff. She level. answered all our questions. Yeah. She was very... In, uh, knew every part and piece of, like, yeah. this tile is going to look good here. This is going to look... If you put it this way, it's not going to look as good because of this. And she had, like, all of it down. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they trained them that well, but they just really know everything yeah. about it. So I was really impressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So biggest surprise because, and you've talked about it a little bit already yeah. in another video, but we definitely weren't expecting the floors to be as much as they were. Like, it was right around 9,000, so 9,000. As they were. Like, yeah. and we didn't even go with like engineered hardwood. We just went with vinyl plank, Yeah. luxury vinyl plank. But since we wanted it in the majority of the house, um, only really with the exception of the two spare bedrooms and the closet, yeah. Um, you know, that pretty much ate up the majority of our budget. <laughs> so. Yeah, we could have gone like with builder style, which is carpet in the living room, carpet mm -hmm. everywhere. We could have done tile in the entryway, tile in the kitchen. Um, that could have been fine, but that's not really what we wanted. We wanted to have. We would have had to have redone everything. Yeah. At some I mean, point. You can you leave know? it that way, but it's just like, 
you know, it, we wanted hardwood. We wanted luxury vinyl plank, which is kind of what I wanted anyway, because I knew that the hardwood was going to be like exponentially more expensive, mm -hmm. and it was. Uh, however, luxury vinyl plank is extremely durable. It's yeah. waterproof, mm -hmm. and if this is going to be a rental in the future at some point, that's what we wanted to have in there, and yeah. that's why it was going to cost. I think it cost right around nine thousand plus. Yeah, to uh, do all the rooms that we wanted to. We do. did all the rooms except for those two spare bedrooms, mm -hmm. and the closets. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it, it was a it was worth it to us to, mm -hmm. to upgrade to that for sure. Yeah, and so. You know, we didn't go overboard on most other things. I mean, we did do a few things in the kitchen that we probably could have not done. Yeah. Um, you know, but overall, you know, we did pull back on the sink. I wanted the farmhouse sink. I did too. I really wanted the farmhouse sink. But it's really expensive. And yeah. so um, we pulled back on that, which I think will be fine. Um, but we did get a beautiful a countertop for the island yeah we got an oversized island which i think is going to just be amazing it will be. um and then just some little extra features in the kitchen that i think are really going to just make it super functional um which is going to be great you know it's like if we're building this house and we get to choose these things yeah choose the things that you would you know if you're you know when you're like walking in your house and you're like if i ever get to choose what i put i'm gonna <laughs> choose this because i want yeah. this thing you know what i mean like and so we didn't go overboard like but we we could have gone way more you know than we yeah, did we definitely could and have. then you know on the guest bathroom we didn't do the standard but we didn't go you know we just went like one level up um yeah and because it's a guest bathroom yeah we're gonna have people coming over they're gonna be staying in our house for rent free. So if like yeah. if they uh, if if they don't want like the tile, then that's fine. Yeah. I'm not. It's it's tile. It's still tile. And it's it still looks fine. It normal. looks nice. And and yeah. we can we can decorate it yeah. to up level a little level, a little go. bit. You know, we did go with the pattern floor in the utility room, which we could have not done. It was like seven hundred dollars um, yeah. because we got a specialty tile. But I think it's gonna be really fun, and I think it's gonna be a really cool room. Um, and then we didn't do much else, you know, yeah. we, we did spend more than I think we initially thought that we would. Yeah. Um, but you know, it, it, we have some leverage with the price of the house. And so even though we had to like write a check today, um, it's still not going to be like a huge, you know, a huge overall difference, I think. And we're getting the things that we really wanted in the house. Right. So I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. I'm not like, I'm overwhelmed, but I'm not like feeling like, man, we just compromised on everything and no. spent too much yeah, time. Like, I good, don't feel that way. It was a good middle ground. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So from here, the next step in this build process is going to be, we're going to, all of this information is going to get sent over to the building plans. They'll produce building plans for the, the dig and they'll break ground at some point in the next um, month to month and a half. Um, and then from there, they're going to start pouring concrete and the build will just continue from there basically. Um, so we're going to take you along through that as well. This video is just all about the design center and what, what that looks like. Um, so more to come. Definitely. We're this is a long process. It's not we're at the very beginning, you guys, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but um, it's fun. But for now, I think we're going to go maybe take a nap, yeah. <laughs> go talk with our friends, unload, tell them everything that happened. Yep. And just kind of, I know, now that we've made our decisions, now yeah. we can kind of know what the house is going to look like and start yeah. to plan for it that way. So it should be super cool. fun. I'm excited. Thanks for enjoying this journey with us. We're going to uh, cut it out here and then we're going to probably post another one. It may be a while be between these video and the next one, but if you're... Not much going on this, <laughs> for yeah. a while, probably. Yeah, so um, if you have any questions, though, please leave in the comments. I hopefully will try to get to 100% of the questions that you ask. Um, so if there's something that you're really curious about, let me know. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. If you want to stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button for sure. It helps us a lot if you do that. Um, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye.